What's going on, people? So, last week? Yeah, last week, because it's Sunday now. So, last week, my aunt, she was, we were talking about whatever, and then she asked me if I liked some shoes or something, you know? And it was these right here, you know? The side of the box says whatever it says. And so, I'm like, yeah, those are pretty cool, you know? And so, I was thinking, like, I wonder if she's, like, going to get me these. Because every so often, she'll, like, ask me about stuff. It's like, the birthday is coming around or whatever, when it's time to, like, give gifts or something. And so, then, you know, the next day, she's like, yeah, I bought you some shoes. So they'll, they'll be in the mail soon or whatever. And so that's what these are, right? And it's kind of cool because it's not common for people to buy me shoes, you know? Like, the last pair was actually a pair that she bought me. Well, no, okay, I take that back. The last pair I got from Sneaker Hearts, from Cam, right? He sent over some Pumas, the WWE Pumas, like the Ric Flair ones not too long ago. I forget when exactly that was, but there was a video all about it. So thanks again to him for that also. But yeah, so the last pair of shoes that were bought for me was this pair right here, which you may recall from a video that I did about like five important shoes. However I label it, like these right here were on the list, right? So these things, which I don't even know what model those are, but she got me those when I was in like 11th grade or something. So like 98, 99? Yeah, somewhere in there, right? And I wore them for like years. But either way, there's a whole thing. Watch the video if you want more information. So when I when she said she was sending me these or whatever, I was like, oh, that's cool. It's been a while since I got a new pair of shoes. And she knows I can kind of do like the fitness sort of thing to some extent. So she thought that these would be a good fit for me. And that kind of makes sense because they actually are, since they're good for like the running and for like the working out and stuff. But we'll talk about all that as we go through this review over these right here. The Brooks Rebel 5 in the... I guess some kind of gray and red colorway. I don't know if they actually do colorway names or anything. I don't see anything on the side of the box that says what it is. So I'm just going to go with that. The only stuff on there was just about like the type of running shoe that it is as far as like your pronation goes or whatever. So there is that. Which if that's a thing that you're into, Brooks generally does pretty well for that kind of stuff as far as like letting you know what shoes you need. But I think a lot of people also just kind of don't care about that because like they just want something that's mildly comfortable and they just go on their jogs or runs. I totally get it, right? I'm right there with you for the most part. Also, real quick before we go getting into this, the box that these things came in, it almost reminds me in some ways of like the older Nike box, how they used to have that big Nike tape on there and that everybody was all super mad about, right? And I say that because like there's a lot of branding on the box. They have like pictures and stuff, so it's Brooks right on it. But I think that people aren't really trying to sell Brooks shoes, so they probably never got any, like, I don't know what you want to call it, any backlash from the crowd or whatever. So, you know, it's just one of those things where sometimes some people can get away with stuff, you know? Anyways, let's flip this thing around so I can grab one of these shoes and start this little review and all that good stuff with the bottom, of course. Down there, what you're looking at, right, it's pretty much going to be like your standard type of outsole for, like, a basic type of running shoe, right? So the thing that they did with these, they kind of have it as like an arrow pointing forward, which isn't just because they think that you're going to run forward, it's a design thing to help you move forward. That's how this that, how the shoe is actually constructed. So it's more than just to look people. But anyway, so there's that going on in case you were curious. Moving on up here to the midsole. The midsole is also very plain, right? Not a whole lot going on there. But the one thing about it is, again, with the construction. That's kind of the thing with, when it comes to running shoes. So these, it's BioMogo DNA, like B-I-O-M-O-G-O -O DNA. And I was trying to get some information on it. And basically, it's kind of like their form of like light strike or something like that, right? That's what it comes down into. But I guess it's supposed to be also like super biodegradable. And it's somewhere like in the middle range of their comfort. So since these are made for running on, on the roads and stuff, they kind of fall right in the middle between being super soft or super stiff, right? So they're in the middle ground. But that's what's going on down here. And it, I will say, like picking these things up, they're like super light. Apparently it's, I looked it up, it's 8.8 .8 ounces. I don't know what to compare that to because I don't really know weights of anything, but it doesn't seem like a lot to me. And it definitely didn't seem like a lot when I picked up this box. But anyway, so there's that going on with the midsole, right? Now, 
Taking a look at the overall upper of the shoe and all that good stuff, you can see it's a very plain sort of build, but that's kind of what you get when you get like more running tuned shoes. There's not always a whole lot of flash, and if it is, it usually just comes in the way of like the colorway or something. Not a whole lot of extra stuff on the shoe, which is a thing I'm a huge fan of. I really like a streamlined, basic sort of minimalist shoe. Anyways, down here around the toe box, right? So it's gonna be like your standard stuff that you would probably expect on a shoe like this. So if you've seen any other knitted running shoe, they all kind of look the same, right? They just call it different stuff. These they call knit fit, right? That's what their little stuff is called. So not a big deal, seems pretty all right to me. And so then moving on past there, onto like the, the upper and all that good stuff of the toe box, looking at that, it's feeling pretty decent. You know, I gotta say, so it doesn't look like anything amazing, but it, but to the feel, you know, it's like thickness of it, it almost reminds me of, not as thick, but of the EQT, was it like 9117 or 9318? One of the shoes that I bought, well, the only shoe that I bought of that type, kind of reminds me of that just because it's a little thicker feeling. But otherwise, it looks very much like everything else. So if you want to compare it to like the Asics Dynablast or you want to go with like the one of the Ultra Boost models, whatever, again, they all tend to have their same sort of vibe going on. And moving on to the mid area here on the side, so you do have like the Brooks logo and all that stuff happening. That might be 3M, it looks like it would be, but I don't know for sure, so I'm not gonna say that it is. Now, moving on past that, just a little bit more here, you got the back end area, the heel cup and all that good stuff. So you can't really see anything, but you, you can feel that it's in there and it does feel pretty nice and sturdy, so I do like that. And that's again, gonna be just more of that gray stuff, right? And so then as you get to the very back, you got the normal pull tab, not pull tab, like hang tag type, whatever it is, a pull, maybe it is a pull tab, whatever, you got this loop. And so you got that in red and then you got Brooks in gray, right? Kind of going along the same lines as the rest of the shoe, which makes sense, uniformity and whatnot. So let's switch back over here to the front, finish things out. So where you have these laces, right? You're probably looking like, oh yeah, those look like some very familiar laces. Yeah, because you see them on all kinds of things, right? Just did an Ultra Boost review the other day, two of them kind of, and these look very much like those, just not as long, which is good because those laces on those 22s were like crazy long. So anyways, you got that happening, right? Plain flat red laces. And then down here behind that, you've got this sort of mesh sort of thing going on on the tongue. It looks like that might also be 3M. I meant to check when I did the unboxing on the Instagram not too long ago, but I didn't because I forget about stuff when I put it out of my sight. And so moving on up just a little bit to the top of the area there, you have Rebel 5 because that's what this shoe is model-wise. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. I feel like I quite didn't. But either way, Rebel 5 at the top. So there goes everything pretty much as far as the visual goes. No extra laces in case you're curious, but that's a common thing around here for the running shoes. So let's jump on the inside, see what's happening in there. Down in there, right, you got the standard stuff right? Just gray insole, red text, says Brooks. Very much the same as everything else. So you probably guessed what was going to be going on in there before I even showed it to you. And then as far as like the material goes, it doesn't feel like anything amazing. It feels like your normal basic comfort or whatever. So there's that. But it's basically just, you know, the red and some gray down in there as well. But yeah, basic stuff. So I believe that covers the whole outside of the shoe and all that crap. So now the next part of the next part of this video is going to be the side, not the sizing, like the personal thoughts, all that stuff, you know, that's what phase we're going into now. So let's knock this thing out, right? These things right here, like one thing that I do like about these is the weight of them. They felt like so light, which was kind of crazy, you know, cause I picked them up and I was like, is this box even empty? It was almost like the, the SL twenties, which are also a very comparable shoe to these. So I do like that aspect of it. I also like the fact that they are very minimalistic, you know what I mean, as far as the build and construction, which lends itself to being a good running shoe. So there's that. I'll get into like how they feel and stuff, but I'll tell you right now, that's feeling pretty good as well. And the color choices that they had, while not amazing, were pretty decent for something, for like your, their basic style runnings, running things. Cause these I think come in at like a hundred, so they're a little under the ghosts, you know? which I do have a pair of, but kind of have not done anything with, not even opened or reviewed. But yeah, so all in all, like the visual and all that good stuff, totally on board with it. 
And I really like the way they did that tongue on there. It's just a personal thing. I don't know what it is, but I just think it's kind of cool, you know? So otherwise, looking at everything as far as the visual goes and my personal thoughts, like I said, it's a thumbs up all around. So I do like that. And even though they do feel a little bit cheap, just because they feel so light and like there's just, like it's almost like there's nothing to it, I'm feeling pretty good about wearing these and stuff. So that's a cool thing as well. Anyways, that's enough out of me as far as all that stuff goes. You've just probably seen all the, get to see all the pictures and all that crap. Now we're gonna do like the sizing and all that stuff, right? So, when my aunt asked me what size I needed, you know, I told her nine and a half because that's the size of my foot and I tend to get things that are true to size fits, right? I've been pretty lucky in that way for the most part. And these fall right in place with that. They fit exactly like I would want them to. They don't feel too snug. They don't feel too loose. I think it's a pretty solid fit just going with your standard true to size. So you got some Air Maxes, you got some Ultra Boosts, you know, whatever else types of running shoes you may be running around in. Like I said, the SL20s, the Dynablast, like go with that fit on these and you should be fine. Now, past that, as far as like wearing the shoe, I can't speak much on the running aspect of it because I haven't run in these yet, obviously. But I will say just from like trying them on, they do feel very light, which is again a thing that I'm super into. And they feel light as far as like the upper and stuff with the breathability. So that's a huge plus in my eyes, right? Because these are made not just for road running, but also for just your normal working out and stuff. And that's going to be a time when you're going to want a little bit of breathability to whatever you have on your feet. At least I do. So these definitely fit the bill and I'm cool with them all around, really. So not a bad thing to say, which is somewhat uncommon for me because usually I have something to say that I don't like. But these, no. Nah. So I suppose that's really about it. I mean, I've covered everything about the looks and all that crap. So I guess we're good. We can just kind of move on. So from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I have a couple more videos to record. Luckily, this was the only shoe video I had to do. Those things take like a lot of work. If you ever watched one of my reviews from end to end, you know, there's like all kinds of stuff going on, like pictures and videos and stuff. Take a, take a minute to break that down in your head and next time you're watching somebody on YouTube or whatever, think about how much time they waste like making this stuff and be a little appreciative for them, you know? Not for me, I don't care how you feel about it. But for some of those other people that are out there doing the same and like people aren't really watching their stuff, watch their stuff. They give them some attention too, you know? Anyways, like I said, that's enough out of me. Later people.